Okay. Yep, start recording. So, for example, name is uh, Ryan Suryanto. Yeah, then uh, you will print, for example, print uh, whether the name is uh, Alpha. Like this, yeah. Then you will get the output like this. Oh, the kernel is not the uh, change to the Python tree. Wait, huh? Why is taking too long yeah, to load the kernel? Hmm. Interesting. Very long to load the kernel. Okay, maybe I just uh, open a new notebook. Okay, looks like so. <laughs> Ew. Okay. Ah, okay. Good. Yeah. How about this one? Still unchanged. Okay. So I copy this uh, cell. I change to the clean notebook. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So you print whether the is alpha or not. Yeah. Okay. And then after that, uh, if uh, you also print uh is uh, lower like this yeah whether it is lower case or not yeah then run yeah also false yeah okay but uh, if i change that uh, to uh this okay run yeah true yeah because of all this lowercase. Okay, and then after that, uh, you uh, would like to print. Name dot uh, lower, uh, upper, yeah. To convert to uppercase, yeah. So uh, change this, like this, yeah, to comment. Okay, it is a change to the uppercase. Yeah? So, uh, is lower, is alpha, is a to check whether they are alphanumeric or lowercase or uppercase. Yeah, there is a is, yeah, is in front. Okay, and then uh, uh, to convert, actually, you just uh, run the dot upper, dot uh, lower, yeah, dot uh, title. Okay. okay, for example, uh, I would like to uh, copy this, yeah, and then a uh, title, yeah. Like this, then uh, run. So every, the first letter of the word will be converted into the uppercase. Okay, so the rest uh, you can practice yourself uh, in here, this lab, uh, this uh, notebook. Yeah. Now I'm going to start with the new topics, which is the module three. Module three, there are three notebooks. So what I plan is uh, the first session uh, until uh, about uh, 9:45 or 9:50. Yeah, it will be used for. Uh, covering the these three notebooks yeah? then after that uh, uh, the next session after 10 o'clock to 11 is uh, this yeah one four okay so that's my plan today yeah okay let's start with the uh, three one okay function arguments and parameters okay so when you learn SQL you learn about the function and in the Python, we also have a function. So what is a function in Python? So function is a, a black box, yeah? a box that uh, doing some process. And then after that, uh, it received the input. And then uh, create the output yeah? function. 
so in the mathematics the function is uh, normally written as a fx eh? like this okay and then uh, it has the input and then uh, it produces the output so uh, whatever inside the functions it is hidden from the user user just uh, pass the parameter input yeah, into the function and then the function will process and uh, generate the output okay so the function is very very important in a python you need to able to master how to create the function in the python uh, to uh, get the result of the function you need to use the return yeah so return the output so the keyword is written and uh, to create a function you must use the, the word the define okay. I put in the red okay I erase this first Okay, yeah, so we use the divine. And then the return. <laughs> Ugly. Okay. So this is a two keyword that uh, you uh, have to use here yeah, in the creating the function and return the result. Let's see the simple. Uh, okay, we have the built-in function. Yeah, the built-in function is uh, the function that uh, like a print, lower, is lower, upper. Yeah, all those are the built-in function. But uh, other than that, we have the user-defined function. That's uh, what we're going to learn. Yeah. Okay, so student, 17. Student name, Hiroto Yamaguchi. Yeah. Then a print. Okay, this one is function. Yeah. Function of the built-in. Yeah. Print line 1, line 2. Okay, yeah, this one. Passing argument to print is a, you have to pass the string or any other data type that uh, printable. Yeah, it has the string character component. That's the built-in function, print. Yeah. Create simple function using the define yeah, or def. Yeah. Def, the name of the function, and then the code, and then after that, the return. Yeah, if there is any return. Example, yeah, def uh, say hi. This is the function. Yeah. In the Python, indentation is very important. Yeah. You, you see here that uh, very, we have the indentation here. This is uh, telling that uh, this is uh, a print, print, Hello there, and then goodbye is a part of this uh, function. Okay, it must be programmed correctly. Yeah, if uh, you do not uh, give the correct indentation, your program will run with a mistake. Yeah, okay, will not run. Yeah, okay, so I run this one. Uh, wait, uh, what happened? Oh, the Python 3 correct already. Okay, is there anyone waiting? Let me check. No. Okay. Uh, define the function name, say hi. Okay, yeah. This is only create the function. So there is no output, yeah? Then how to call, yeah? So how to call is basically uh, you uh, type this uh, function name, yeah? So again, the syntax, uh, dev. Yeah, to define the function, follow the function name, and then after that uh, with the bracket indicating that uh, whether it has parameter or not, and then colon. Yeah, colon also important. Yeah, then uh, below is the what do you want to do in the function. So how to call? Then uh, I put uh, here another cell. Okay, 
So I call, yeah, say hi. Like this, okay? So say hi, then enter, then uh, I will get this output. Hello there, print goodbye, yeah? And uh, here, if I want to call the function three underscore three, so I just call three, three, like this. Okay, so just call the function name, yeah? Then after that, uh, you get the uh, error here because uh, with a uh, three, three. Oh, I have not uh, run this one. Yeah, so the function is not defined. I need to run, then after that, call it. Yeah. Okay. So you need to define, then you can use the. What happened if uh, I put uh, like this? Yeah. Uh, Ah, like this yeah okay then uh, you run then uh, there is a error yeah the indentation error unexpected the uh, indent so you have to put uh, like this in the straight yeah after that this uh, say hi yeah you have to put the correct indentations uh, exactly aligned with the say here the letter s yeah okay uh so program define and call the say hi there three functions yeah okay this is to define the function the function number one the say hi then function number two and then calling yeah that's the call okay now you're going to uh, learn about the uh, functions with the uh, accept the parameter yeah so define yell it yeah press i hate you then a print uppercase yeah followed by the exclamation mark yeah so here this is to define the function this is to call it yeah okay so the parameter is uh, put into the bracket yeah, here when you define the functions you can uh, define what the parameters will be used in the function body for example here i define a parameter name a press so the press is uh, empty when you define the function, you can uh, put the value after that. Yeah? Then uh, when you call, then uh, yell this previously was uh, only like this. Yeah, This is previously in the previous example like this. Yeah, But now you put this. Okay. Then uh, it will be passed into the function. Then uh, print it. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So uh, alternatively, when you define the functions, instead of uh, just declaring the empty variable, you can set the default value. So what happened when you do not uh, pass anything into the function, when you call, then uh, it will use uh, this default value. But uh, if, you if you provide the value for the press, then uh, it will be used uh, this to print. Yeah. So this the output will be the a high and buy yeah the high is uh, because you don't pass any parameter it use a default and then uh, here yeah it will be using the buy okay next yeah define the uh, function yell this yeah and then after that uh, create a parameter the name the, the parameter name is uh, words to yell Okay, and then after that, uh, you print this parameter in the uppercase. Yeah? Okay, so you key in the keyword to in uh, to 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 uh, uh, yell by asking the user to input. Okay, now let's run. Yeah, so it will ask, "What do you want to yell?" Yeah. So for example, "Good morning." everyone like this yeah okay so enter then uh, it will be converted into the uppercase yeah this one okay now i'm going to practice create the simple function yeah from scratch yeah okay so code cell okay uh then uh this uh 
function is the to create the BMI. Yeah. Do you know BMI? BMI is a body mass index. Yeah. So do you know what is the formula of the BMI? Okay, let's look at the BMI formula. Okay, to measure the BMI, then uh, you need to have the height and the weight. Yeah. So the height uh, is uh, in the centimeter, and then the weight is uh, in the kg. Yeah. How do I cal calculate the BMI manually? Yeah. Yes, the mass uh, divided by the height uh, power two. Okay. So uh, BMI. Uh, matrix formula, yeah. So, uh, weight in kilogram divided by the height in a meter square, okay. So, kg meter square, okay. So, you're going to ask uh, the people uh, to key in their height and weight, okay. Correct, right? The uh, mass divided by the height the power two yeah, the mass is in kilogram or the weight in kilogram then uh, the height is uh, in a meter square okay so you will be asking you will be creating two parameter yeah so the the uh, weight and the height yeah okay so uh, let's do it yeah dev calculate the bmi okay so you will receive the you will accept the parameter two yeah the uh, weight and then after that the height okay then uh, don't forget the colon okay so what do you want to calculate yeah you can uh, calculate for example uh, you create the uh, BMI yeah equal to uh, weight yeah divided by the Uh, height uh, okay wait uh, I forgot now the Python is power two is a uh, Python meta square okay yeah so double star yeah using double star correct Double star. Sometimes too many uh, programming language, then uh, we forgot. Yeah, so height star. Yeah, okay. So after that, the uh, return uh, BMI. Or you can simplify just return this. Yeah, later we're going to uh, uh, learn this simplifying. Yeah, okay. Uh, return uh, BMI. Okay. So this is to uh, define the function. And then after that, uh, you're going to calculate. Yeah. Now, we uh, create the uh, variable yeah, to store the user input data. So, uh, input uh, weight equal to input type your weight in kg yeah. okay like this yeah. then after that the uh, input the height type your uh, height uh, in a centimeter Okay, then after that, uh, uh, yeah, this one is uh, you must uh, divide by 100 yeah, because uh, it is a centimeter. It's uh, very common to uh, ask the height in centimeter instead of meter. Yeah, okay, then after that, uh, you call. Yeah, so uh, calc BMI, then uh, passing the input weight input height uh, in input width yeah, okay like this okay comma and then after that the uh, input height 
Okay, yeah, then uh, you will uh, ah, this one is card PMI. So you can uh, store this uh, into the variable. Yeah, so for example, uh, output the uh, BMI. Equal like this, yeah. Then after that, you want to print, yeah. Okay, like this, yeah. So, uh, this one is an uh, example, but uh, you can modify the code uh, that uh, produce similar thing, which is more simpler. Yeah, later we will see how to do that. Yeah. So this is to define. Maybe I put this in the separate cell. Yeah. So I put in the separate cell. So this is to define the function. This is to call the function. Yeah. So run this one. Uh, okay. Mm. Okay. Two. Yeah. So this one. Yeah. Okay. Then after that, uh, uh, this is to call. Yeah. So your weight uh, in a kg is seventy, for example, and then uh. The height in a centimeter is a hundred seventy, for example. Okay, so you see here we have the error because uh, remember yesterday when I teach you about the input, yeah, input everything is uh, in the text, yeah, input everything is in the text. So you need to convert the uh, if you want to calculate the uh, here, yeah, this uh, must be, yeah. So here I put the uh, input, yeah. After that uh, you put the uh, integer, yeah. You need to convert the into the integer. Yeah, that's correct. The input all are in the string. Yeah. Okay. Then after that, uh, when we pass, uh, it's already in a numeric integer value. Yeah. So we run again 70 kg, then uh, 170. Okay. This is the PMI. So, uh. You have learned uh, what you uh, have learned yesterday yeah, about the uh, input uh, string. Then uh, we need to convert into the numeric. Yeah, then uh, after that, uh, we use that uh, in the function. You can simplify this function by because it is just one line. Yeah, then uh, instead of uh, doing this, then I can also just uh, create a very simple function. Only one line. Yeah, return. Like this, yeah. I don't need to create the BMI variable, just written directly. And uh, normally, I put into the bracket yeah, to make sure that, that this is uh, one single value. Like this, yeah. So define calculate BMI with the height, then return this, yeah. Okay. And uh, after that, uh, you uh, run. Okay. Then after that, the same thing. This one, you. Uh, uh, run so uh, 70 and then 170 yeah so the same yeah. or I can also put the, the print not here yeah but the function is uh, actually doing the print directly so here I can simplify by doing the print directly yeah print this one okay because we already print here, we don't need to return anything. Yeah. So when we call, then we can simplify the color. Okay. Uh, here you go. So after the key in the input output, yeah. Then after that, uh, we just uh, call. Yeah. We don't have to. Uh, store this into the variable we don't need to print anymore yeah just a call then uh, when a call it will print directly so run after that uh, run 70 kg 170 like this yeah so many way yeah depends on uh, where do you want to uh, do the things yeah normally i would like uh, to suggest that uh, uh, in the function you avoid the uh, printing so uh, it is just uh, calculating, then uh, giving the result written back to the caller. So that's uh, the best practice that uh, I, I adopted. Yeah. So uh, I try to avoid uh, my function to do the printing. 
So the printing is uh, in the color here. You get the result, you cap, uh, you catch the, the, the result in the color, then uh, you print it. Yeah. But the, the function is uh, simplified in just uh, doing the processing. Okay, so that's the function. Any questions? For example, if uh, you do not, if the user do not uh, provide uh, the uh, uh, the value, yeah, so we get an error like this. Yeah, so here, uh, for example, I call the cut PMI, yeah. Uh, okay, I, I think I, I, I'll keep this uh, in the next. We, we're going to uh, capture the, hand, uh, the error, yeah. If uh, the, the height is a zero, yeah, then what happened yet? Yeah? Number cannot divide by the zero. So uh, we're going to manage that uh, in the separate uh, lesson, yeah, which is uh, error handling. But uh, I'll, I will keep it in the next lesson, yeah. In the next, next lesson, when we do the uh, error handling. Okay, so uh, let's move forward to the uh, next uh, notebook, yeah. So uh, this one is done already. Okay, so the uh, three two. Yeah. So explore the function with return value, creating the function with the multiple parameter. Okay. This uh, I show you already. The uh, demonstration will be a uh, very fast. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, Yesterday we learned already about the type. Yeah, the type is a function in the Python to a check. Yeah, what is a return type? Yeah. So object type type two point three three. Yeah, the return fault. Uh, the this is the uh, what you call float. Yeah, float. Yeah. Example. Yeah. Message double press. Yeah, double press plus press. This is uh, basically to repeat the message uh, twice. Okay. So for example, uh, the uh, press is a let's go so because you repeat that twice then the output is a let's go let's go yeah like this okay so you can return this yeah whatever you define uh, and uh, do in the body of the function you can return and then a uh, capture yeah then uh, you can check the type yeah. it is a uh, save now and then the type is string Okay, let's see function that uh, add the doctor title to a name. Wow. <laughs> okay, prof yeah, or doctor. Yeah. Okay, so uh, run this one. Yeah. Then uh, what is your name? Yeah, Ryan. Okay. Then uh, doctor Ryan. Okay. So this is a function. The name is a uh, make doctor. Yeah. Then uh, parameter input is a name. Then uh, asking. Yeah. So input what is your full name? Then after that, uh, put that uh, uh, doctor in front of the name. Then a uh, print out. Yeah, simple. Okay. Now make schedule. Yeah. Okay. Two parameter. Period one, period two. So first period the title and then okay. This is to change the title. Yeah. Remember, title is a change the first character to uh, uppercase. Okay, history, mathematics. Yeah? So the capital M, capital H. Adding the third period. Yeah, so a three, three parameters. Okay. That's the multiple parameter. Yeah, okay. Uh, times three, three five. Yeah, okay, we still have uh, five more minutes. Uh, let's move to the last one. Sequence in func in function. Yeah, okay. So just now, yeah. Uh, if I go back to uh, this in the ah uh, this one. Yeah. So for example, uh, I define the calculate PMI, but the uh, I call this without uh, defining the function, then uh, that will be an error. Yeah, for example, like this. 
I create a new cell. Okay. So I copy this. And then after that, the, I put the here. And I change the name of the function to BMI2 like this. Yeah. Okay, so I, I will get an error. Yeah. Why? Because the input is a top down. Yeah. When I ask the user to key in the input, the height and uh, weight and height, then after that, uh, call the function. The function not defined yet. Yeah. Only later than uh, it defined. So I will get an error here. Oh, uh, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. The height is, uh, the weight is uh, 70 kg, and then the height is uh, 170. Okay, then uh, after that, uh, I get an error on the this line number three. Yeah, when you call this function, the function is not uh, exist in the memory. Yeah, because uh, only here you define. Yeah, so to fix the error, you need to change the sequence. Yeah, you put the the define functions earlier. Okay, like this. Yeah, so when you call this one, then uh, this one is uh, fine, no problem. You see, yeah. So sequence is very important in the Python. Otherwise, then uh, you get an error. Uh, three, three. Okay, here you go. Yeah. No, this one is a uh, yeah sequence in Python. Yeah. Must uh, make sure that uh, uh, whatever needed uh, is already de defined earlier. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is a symbol, head color. Yeah, this is calling the head available green. Yeah, but the uh, this one is a uh, defined later. So there will be an error. Yeah, when you call this uh, head uh, available, the function is not uh, defined yet. Only later. So this is a block. Yeah, must be defined earlier. Yeah, must be put in the earlier line, above this line who call. Yeah. Okay, like this. So you will have an error because uh, what? Yeah, because uh, call this function but uh, undefined. Yeah, memory don't have it. Yeah, and only later you define it. Yeah, so that is an error. Fix the sequence. Yeah, so uh, previously like this, then you need to move the this one, the dev head available. You have to move uh, above this, such as like this. So define, you put the uh, earlier. Yeah. This one is okay. Also avoid the uh, hard coding. Yeah. So uh, like uh, here, have had is a uh, green. Yeah, green is hard coded. Yeah. So uh, you try to put this into the variable. So uh, when you have this uh, into the variable, then uh, it is easier to change later yeah, by changing the variable with a different value. Put available, so instead of uh, giving the the name of the bird as a hard coded, then, then uh, you put the here variable for the bird name. Yeah. So this is a bird types crow, robin, parrot. Yeah. Asking yeah, what the bird are you looking for? And then a uh, check yeah, if the bird is uh, here yeah inside this. Okay, so a uh, but uh, as a uh, capitalized, which is uh, this, yeah, already been capitalized. The put num uh, name, and then after that, the uh, put output. Okay, let's uh, look at uh, what is the input. Yeah, for example, I uh, input the uh, the put in the list. Yeah, for example, hog. Yeah. Okay, hog is available is true. Yeah, but uh, when I change to the, for example, uh, what is the uh, uh, the bird that uh, uh, green, yeah, for example, green like this, yeah. Green is uh, not available here, yeah. So here the keyword is uh, in, yeah, in meaning checking, yeah, whether this uh, inside uh, this uh, list. Okay. And then uh, define function how many, enter how many you want, yeah. Okay, print, 
and then after that uh, like uh, in the restaurant you uh, want to order some food okay so if it is uh, stop uh, or terminated you know that uh, we're going to continue at uh, 10 o'clock yeah okay let's run under how many you want yeah for example five yeah okay then uh, five will be order so uh, you can do the same thing yeah for example uh, in the bmi here i create a code cell and then after that the uh, dev okay after that the uh, order i this yeah? okay after that uh, uh for example uh yeah you will you will just uh, for example uh amount yeah equal to uh quantity times the price okay so uh, you put the quantity and price as a parameter okay then after that uh, return amount okay so here in the code to call yeah then uh, you call yeah then after that the uh, input so for example uh, order quantity equal to input type uh, order quantity okay yeah then after that the uh, order price yeah. type the price per unit okay then after that uh, you call yeah print then uh, okay the name is uh, not order yeah but uh, calculated the amount Okay, print calc amount. Okay, yeah. Then uh, you need to convert into the integer. Yeah, or a float, yeah, it's up to you. If the price has a cent or decimal, then uh, you have to put the IDC. So, uh, print calculate amount, yeah. So, run. The order quantity is uh, four, yeah, and then the price is uh, three dollar. Okay, uh, oh sorry, <laughs> this one is a uh, uh, amount, yeah, because the uh, calculate amount, print calculate amount. Okay, return amount, amount quantity price. Okay, I think we put just put the here, yeah, the calculate amount we put the. Oh, okay, I forgot to uh, put the here, yeah, the order quantity, and then the uh, order price. I forgot to uh, to pass the parameter, yeah. So run quantity three uh, five, then a price three dollar, yeah. So uh, five fifteen dollar, yeah. Okay, this is example of creating the parameter with the two function. I put into the chat box. Okay. Uh, so I got the uh, message. The meeting will end for all participants in uh, five minutes. So we have already covered the uh, very important part in the Python programming, which is a uh, function. Okay. Any question, guys? Okay. To practice, uh, you uh, can uh, open the notebook. Or